Footage of a University of Baghdad professor burning his certificates went viral in Iraq last week, sparking a conversation about corruption and inequality in the country's education system. When I burnt these papers, it was a way to protest, to deliver a message to the world that Iraq cannot be run like this. The schools are unsuitable. Some schools rotate around three shifts. Some schools don't have desks. Another clip has emerged of young children on the outskirts of the capital studying on the floor without any electricity or water. This comes just days after a case of corruption was revealed. Two and a half billion dollars of public funds stolen from within the finance ministry since September last year. UNICEF says more than three million Iraqi children don't attend school. And the World Bank estimates that those who do will reach not even half of their potential productivity when they grow up. As students settle into the school year, a new government is also preparing to allocate ministerial positions and a budget. If we want to promote the quality of education, the ministry needs 20% of the national budget to provide high-quality education, as we have 12 million students, and also we have around 1 million employees. The ministry says more funds are needed to build 10,000 schools to meet capacity demands, having only received 3% of all government funding in the last year. A recent study by Iraq's education consortium found that less than 40% of the ministry's allocated budget has been implemented since 2015. Demand is growing among even non-affluent parents to send their children to less overcrowded private institutions. This private school opened in Baghdad this year with 40 students. The main reason that parents are moving towards private schools compared to public schools is the high quality of education and also the services they provide, such as clean bathrooms. The increase of these small private schools in Iraq illustrates the premium that parents are willing to pay for basic necessities, such as clean bathrooms, unbroken windows and books. Students of government-funded schools are not so fortunate, with vast inequalities in the provision of education and opportunities among the country's children. Alana Travers, TRT World, Baghdad.